We're gonna start recording and say, Crisis averted, we totally do have Flash. And now that I think about it, I think someone here knows Flash. Nobody knows Flash. So that's a separate <laughs> problem that we're about to have here. <laughs> As we're about to have to Sophia's choice this shit, because someone's gonna have to know Flash. Did she just seriously not? Uh, can Bulbasaur learn it? I guess you could just teach it to Chase. Oh, it's not shit. like he has an electric type attack, but, you know, Thundershock would have been useful to keep, so. Fair. Did she just say, don't you dare condescend to me? I, I wasn't. Yeah, I think this was like an early wave, like, girls can train just as good as guys. But also, we didn't say anything, so. Yeah, we, we didn't say anything. I got a real like... chip on your shoulder there, lady. Every single woman in this game is coded two ways. It's either, are you hitting on me, or don't look down on me. <laughs> There's no, like, in-between. <laughs> it would it would take literally, like, five years for us to get a woman trainer that's like, hey, how's it going? I want to fight. <laughs> like, for this generation, they're just like, nope. All women. Well, just I think that's probably the only two character traits that they thought little boys knew about. Respect me, or don't hit on I mean, that's true to today, either respect me and or, or don't hit on me. That's true. Listen. Uh, I mean, you've been on the... Oh, yeah. Well, as you know, my new motto for 2019 is get one... Aw, oh, you son of a bitch, Meow. Are you really going to kill Chase when I'm about to make a joke? You couldn't <laughs> fucking wait? As I was saying, my motto for uh, 2019 is get at least one female <laughs> constant fan. One female viewer. One female viewer. And if to go far as far as to say fan, someone that would go, yeah, I like your stuff, Loki. It's pretty cool. And that's it. That's all I care about is that they care about my videos. Nothing else. I don't want to make this creepy. <laughs> it but might yeah. be a little late. We're, we're getting really close. We're getting really close. Cam just picked up $46 and Chase just disappeared from existence. <laughs> it's like, oh, I guess you're in the Pokeball now, Chase. You don't got real... real Whether you like it or not, that's where you are now. Oh, let's heal up. But yeah, I did my whole uh, YouTube analytics thing and it totally just said there was, I have 100% male viewers. And I was like... <laughs> Really? That's kind of sad. I was kind of hoping for one lady. And it's funny because you have a sister who's in your videos. Yeah, she still never watch. She still does not watch them. I also have a lot of lady friends who occasionally watch my stuff, but not enough for YouTube to go like, nah, they don't count. <laughs> nice try. Don't count. You're just trying to game the system. And they're right, I am trying to game the system, but I feel it's for a good cause. Yeah, you know, you gotta be an inclusive uh, broadcaster. Exactly. I need uh, a, a, at least one lady fan so that she feels really weird when we put up a bunch of videos that say no fat chicks on them. <laughs> and then we could have a so discussion. So yeah, you need at least one fan you can disappoint. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, in 2019, I'm looking to disappoint people. Oh, man. You know, I should open up all my solo videos with, Hey, everyone, it's me, Wogi. Let's get disappointed and look at this game. It's going to be my new motto. Finally, Jex fucking runs into someone. The war turtle sight of him finally shows. You know this entire... Finally ready for war. Yes. Finally prepared for battle. You know, it took me until just this moment to realize that that's a shell on the back of War Turtle. I thought he was facing what, like what an. What else would it be? I thought like it was his. Uh, his body was towards us, and like the the back end of the shell was a tiny fist, and the other one is like a little fist, like going up in the air. Do you see it? No. You do not see the tiny. That's just his tail and his shell. Okay, you see. Oh, okay. Wait. Do you mean that he's like? Like, the, the the tail is his stomach, and he's looking to the... Yes. Exactly. Okay, I, I do see it now, but no, that's not what it is. For years, that's what I thought War Turtle was doing. I thought War Turtle, for some reason, had his chest to us, which never made any sense to me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This guy totally just has a sand shrew. I'm gonna fuck him up. I got sand slash. I aim to be the ultimate trainer. 
Oh no, he's got a rat tat. Quit that. Yeah, you're out. So you're yeah, you're like sick. Oh, he's got one and level. It's at least even... he knows uh, the right Pokemon to be using. Exactly. He's he's like that guy. Actually, you know what? I think he is a reference to that guy, the the get back in the water guy from uh, Pokemon the anime. Oh, where they, he puts that, that weird training harness on the the sand shrew. Yeah, totally. That, that that's totally just a reference to that guy. I don't remember him being in the original game. Jaxter level twenty. That is actually a a fantastic episode moment where Pikachu is like struggling to lift one weight, and that sand shrew is like pumping massive iron right next. I mean, yeah, that. That episode is fantastic for multiple reasons. The, when Ash tries to start a mini revolution inside the camp, and he's just like, "Who wants to go with me?" And they put his hand in the air, and all the Pokemon do not give a shit about what he's doing. <laughs> that that entire episode is the summation of the entire season where fucking Paul was there because it, it literally is like, <laughs> this guy's kind of shitty to his Pokemon. But that's okay because yeah, it's the job done. Remember when Ash was like, "You jerk," and then all of his Pokemon were like, "Eh, yeah. we win. It's not bad." I mean, it's not all bad. He trains us hard, but it's not. It's not. We're not like overworked. You literally ran into a Charmander trainer who literally left his fucking Pokemon in the side of the road. It's not as bad as that guy. Well, he did do that with the Chimchar, I think. I keep forgetting that uh, bugs. Oh, I guess not. He's poison. He's bug and poison. There you go. He might kill me, though, if this thing hits five yeah, times. he's got a kick in your head. He won't stop. He won't stop. I also don't like the really cocky look he's got on him right now. It He looks like an, an enemy from Donkey Kong Country, and I don't appreciate it. I'm God, not I hate to... the bees in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, they're the fucking worst, dude. I think I've lost multiple... If you ever want to know why I've never tried to do a Donkey Kong Country thing, it's because I remember playing Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> <laughs> the horror of playing Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, that those games are like a really like... The, the inclination is that suddenly you hit a level and then that level is the wall. And good luck trying to get past it at any point. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, let me preface this with I love Donkey Kong Country. Yes. Like, Donkey Kong Country and Diddy's Conquest are, like, some of my favorite games. I love those games. But uh, Jesus Christ. They're, like, the shining example of how old video games would just randomly difficulty spike just to keep you playing them. Yes. The the worst example is literally the um the B boss that goes into that fucking haunted mansion shit, and then there's like multiple like bullshit levels where you just like can't you can't do anything like if you like I can barely beat those levels and I remember playing them. Imagine like after beating that bullshit B boss and you didn't go back to save, you would have to go back beat the beat the B boss again. And then have to hopefully uh, remember to save. <laughs> I think if you didn't save one time, you would never make that mistake. I think so. Well, you'd think so, but I think I might have made that mistake multiple times. Just because I'm... Alright, well, that's on you. <laughs> I can't defend you on that one. No, no one should defend me. And that's why I'm both good and bad at Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Damn, we need to find out how to, like, play Donkey Kong Country co-op over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> can I get can I get online multiplayer for Donkey Kong Country? I fucking love that game. I would uh, that play would... that game on camera forever. Is there a way for me to be, for one of us to be airported to the other's house for a bit? And then we just have, like, a week-long <laughs> video series of, like, going through Donkey Kong Country? <laughs> Hey, if you've got the money, you are welcome to stay here and play Donkey Kong Country. Damn. I'll... You know what? I might try. It went the second Save I up get... for the plane. The second I get money again, that is. Whenever People are that... like, wow, they're going to do really cool stuff, and we're actually just going to do a week and a half of, like, just Donkey Kong Country. 
oh that'd be really good and then when we said okay we're ready we're gonna do another game that's when i pull out the fact that it's actually just gonna be donkey kong 64 get ready for the all bananas <laughs> run <laughs> actually no we'd have to do donkey kong country and then we would have to do the the side by side Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure Two, which oh, is best yes. that we've been talking about since we became friends years ago. Yes, that that's actually the other thing. Okay, so here's the list of things for the what if we ever enter a situation where where we are in the same place. It is the Sonic Adventure, it's Donkey Kong Country, and the surprise Donkey Kong sixty four. We have to at least get to Lanky Kong because then we can stop after we get Lanky <laughs> Kong. Okay, deal. Ah, that'd be so good. I actually was thinking, like, if there was ever a situation where um, you were invited to anything, I would try and see if I could get you a, a, a whooper plush, and then you could say that technically <laughs> I was with you. <laughs> so then, like, it would be basically the same thing. People could just talk to that and pretend like it's me. Give it a hug. That's yeah, basically I'll what, just, what we'll do is every time it's in a video, I will just go find old dialogue from you in another video and just put it over the, the whooper. Exactly. It's like that uh, one episode of Rested Development where he has the puppet and he puts like the um, fake audio over it. So every time it opens its mouth, it says, my name is Judge. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, welcome, yes. how, how you doing? Hello, everyone. <laughs> An episode of... <laughs> Pokemon? Hello, everyone. And that's it. That's all it does. <laughs> it's just those three. I mean, that's all you really need. And then there, there also needs to be, like, a giggle. And then that would be it. You'll have <laughs> me distilled into an entire essence. It'd be pretty cool. Support. Keep supporting me in all my future endeavors. And Zen, if you want to see this happen one day. <laughs> yeah keep, keep us both afloat and then we'll make it real yes we will make our crazy inane bullshit don't underestimate how far i'm willing to go for a joke i will go very <laughs> far especially if it's one that is in good nature <laughs> in essence oh cam defeated the junior trainer take that what do you have to say blew it again disgusting i'm what out of here idiot what a fucking loser failure you're not allowed on the donkey kong country stream <laughs> <laughs> blocked and people wonder why i don't have a single female <laughs> when i treat all female NPCs so nice <laughs> all right i think that's gonna be there was one girl watching this episode, and then right before YouTube decided to counter, she was like, wow, he was a real jerk to that lad. God damn it. got him out of here. One of these days, I'm going to get one. And then if it ever does happen, and you can confirm, <laughs> this is going to sound bad, if you can confirm you're a girl, I'll make you a t-shirt that says, uh, Wokey's only <laughs> number one girl fan. <laughs> and it will be a <laughs> picture of a whooper on the front and the back, it will say, no fat chicks. I was about to say. <laughs> Sorry, you have to take the good with the bad. <laughs> so then, I was about to say I will help make this shirt a reality if the back says no fetch. And in the back, it'll have a um, the evolved form of a whooper, the Quagsire. <laughs> All right, everyone. What will actually go into this cave the next episode, I swear. <laughs> Wait, I forgot that there was a bunch of traders we still had to fight. But goodbye for now. <laughs>